In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use dodging and burning in Photoshop to add dimension and contrast to a photograph. Let's get started. I'm going to begin in the Layers panel, and I'm going to add a new blank layer. Next, I'm going to fill this layer with gray, and I'm going to do that by holding the Shift key and then pressing the Delete or Backspace button. The Fill dialog box will come up. I want to make sure that I have selected the 50% gray option, and then I'll click OK. Next, in the Layers panel, I'm going to change the blending mode down to Overlay. Now, a 50% gray layer with an overlay blending mode is basically just going to turn transparent. And in order to dodge and burn on this layer, we're going to paint with black and white. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have my brush active. I'm also going to make sure that I have black and white set as my foreground and background colors. To do that quickly, press the D key, which stands for default, and whatever colors you have set in the tool panel will change to black as your foreground and white as your background. Now, with black active, and I have my brush set to 100% opacity, if I were to start brushing inside of this image, it's going to severely darken whichever areas I'm brushing over. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to switch over to white. And to quickly do that, I'm going to press the X key. And now if I paint with white, it's going to very intensely brighten those areas. Again, I'm going to undo that. And my intention here is to add much more of a subtle brush stroke to the areas that I'd like in order to add that dimension and, and really kind of increase the contrast in this photograph. So the first thing I'm going to do is change my brush opacity. Now you can do that up in the options at the top by just sliding this around. But a much quicker way to change that brush opacity is to use your number of keys. And now this only works when you actually have the brush tool active. So I have the brush tool active, and on my keyboard, I'm going to press the 1 key, which brings that opacity to 10%. And I find that this is a really good percentage to brush with when dodging and burning. Now I'm going to go back over to my image, and I'm going to press X. Now I'm painting with black, because I'd like to intensify the shadows. I'm going to use my Wacom brush for this. And I'm also going to reduce my brush size by using that left bracket key. And one kind of rule of thumb that I use when dodging and burning is that I only darken the areas that are already dark. So in this case, I'm just going to add more contrast or more darkness to that shadow side of that clay. And I'm just going to find the kind of the dark areas, the existing dark areas in this image, and really intensify them. One exception to that is by adding a vignette. So I'm going to increase that brush size with the right bracket key. And I'm just going to brush around the edges and darken those edges to add a vignette. Next, I'm going to press the X key. So now I'm painting with white. So I'm going to reduce my brush size using that left bracket key. I'm going to find those areas that are already light and just emphasize those areas. Now I'm going to toggle that layer on and off so we can see how this is looking. And if you were to view that dodge and burn layer on its own, it basically just looks like a bunch of blobs of gray. But by painting with black and white on this layer, you're able to intensify the shadows and the bright areas of any photograph.